Mario talked about how they were doing some things differently between less stunts. They put four <laughs> linebackers. Gonzalez was talking after the game, also four linebackers in the 3-3-5 against the 11 personnel was messing with some stuff. How much did that alter what you were trying to do between the first half, second half, and adjusting to that? Uh, I think that any time in the course of a game, you know, and I've said I said this before going in the week, teams have, have had some changes, some change-ups, and we'll have to adjust a little bit. I thought we did a great job running the football and, and, and uh, getting on the phones and talking about what we were doing to adjust that stuff. Uh, need a little more rhythm in the pass game, and uh, I thought our guys adjusted and it took a while to get you know some of the hiccups that we had out of the way, and ball didn't bounce our way a couple times, but I um, was excited the way the guys bounced back. For those of us who don't watch the uh, the coaches' tape, what makes Panay Sewell an Outland Trophy finalist as a true sophomore left tackle? Why is he so good? Uh, well, I think that the, that trophy is a pretty a – pretty, uh, Pretty special trophy. I think it goes to to any any of those trophies are for any of the positions. But I mean, the traits and the skill set it takes to get to that level of, of that accomplishments really um, is a really special honor. I mean, from from everything they do in decision making to fundamentals to skill set to um, will to you know all the stuff that you know those are just the things that don't have to do with maybe a, a pass set or down block or pull or reach or a set or a screen. Um, I think more than anything is the accountability and what he's put on tape. He's plays the physicality. He's had he's, he's graded out really well. Not a lot of mental errors. I mean, that's the things you're looking for when you take those accolades. How rare is it for a guy like him to do this as a true sophomore? That's a position we always hear that takes time to develop. But yeah. How, how rare is that for him to be doing it? So yeah, I mean, to do it that fast is, is is really special. I mean, he's a he's a special kid. We knew that coming in, right? And he's just developed in a, in a really fast manner, um, really high football IQ and. And he's earned it. He's done a really, really great job, man. And I'm excited to see him continue on for these for these next couple. Looking at the tape, how has this Oregon State defense kind of changed since where they were at the beginning of the year to where they're at now? They've done a great job. Tim's done a great job with that group. I mean, that's just the evolution of a, of a program, right? You get second year and some guys, and, and guys get a chance to develop within a scheme. We know that as good as anybody. Um, and so, shoot, he's done a great job. Those guys, they're playing hard. They're playing passion. They're, they're doing they're, He's doing a really good job coaching those guys all over the place. Senior day on Saturday, and this group of seniors has been through a lot during their time here at Oregon. How would you describe this class of players? Uh, resilient, tough, um, educated in the game on and off the fo of football. I think that seeing some of the stuff, things that happen off the field and then working through that and then getting on the field and working through different schemes and coaches, uh, my hat's off to this group of guys. They're, they're phenomenal. and. Uh, just a resilient group that's passionate about Oregon football and Oregon in general, and I'm excited for those guys to play this weekend. What's been your biggest two years working with Justin, or I guess three years working with Justin? What's kind of your biggest kind of takeaway when you'll reflect on his time here and, and your time working with him? Uh, a younger coach would have talked about skill set about now. The older coach is going to say the human side. Um, that's not being done. That it, it's really, really nice to be around. Um, Great kids, passionate kids, kids that care about, you know, the University of Oregon, their family, football, the way they do things, they carry themselves the right way. I mean, it's just really good to see a guy grow up and, 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 and take the things that you know are going to carry him on in life. Not to mention, I mean, the, the, ability, the things he's done on the field. I mean, those things are remarkable, and he's worked his tail off, and he's put himself in, in the position he's, that, he's, that he's in, and that's to be an ultra-successful quarterback in the history of Oregon and, and, and let alone moving forward. But, you know, right now I know he's focused on, and he does such a great job of just focused on today and, and, and taking one day at a time. And uh, I'm fortunate to have the relationship we've had. When they have one of the nation's leading pass rushers and tackle for loss, how do you go about, I know he's not had the most productive games the last couple of weeks. He's dealing with an injury, I believe. But how do you go about trying to contain a player who's doing what he's doing? No, he's, he's having a phenomenal season. We've got to take him into account in, in, in all the personnel sets we've got and all the formations and where he's at and protections and runs. And, and he's doing a phenomenal job. Um, they've done a great job coaching him. He's got to play with a great motor. And, and we've got to make sure we know where he's at. We're going to take him into account. You take him into account in the run game. You've got to take him into account in protection. Um, you got to make sure that you know where he's at and, and, uh, and really not take it for granted. CJ was your best in pass pro last year, even. But how much has he really taken to like take pride in the fact that I mean, go back to the Civil War last year. It was the hit that knocked Justin out. Was I mean, the guy just kind of they overloaded the left side on him. Where yeah, that wasn't that wasn't on CJ. No. But 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 the reality the reality CJ in general, I think, was what you're getting to is is his development as a pass blocker really has really come along. He's done a great job. I think that's what you see in 
and anyone who's in that position um, over the course of over uh, the course of a few seasons, especially coming out of high school, that's one of that that's one of the skill sets that a lot of running backs out of high school have to develop. Sean's doing it right now, and, and kind of in, in kind of his off year, and in, and uh, the CJ's done a great job. Both all the backs have, have really tried to assert themselves in that role, and that stuff, man, that's that's a that's part of the deal and, and part of the game, and uh, they've done it phenomenal. They did, they did a great job last week, and, and, and continue to get better with that. Much as his absence in the past game, the last three weeks has been that durability where. I mean, he suffers these minor injuries. He's taking him out, so he just hasn't had, a, hasn't had a catch last three weeks. Yeah, well, I think t there's two pieces of that. Maybe one's, one's the injury, but then other, people are playing us a little bit different, too. You know, they're soaking up our back on protection, which is good, and we're playing playing out to play outside. You know, they're they're they respecting our backs. You know, they're respecting our pass game, respecting our guys outside. And, uh, you know, we'll st we always try to get our backs involved um, with what they're doing. Um, he'll continue to be a, 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 a key piece to that. Justin said bad decisions on Reflecting on those those passes, you know, we went through it as a group. There's going to be, no one's no one's at fault for it for anything. He'll put he'll put it all on his back, which is um, that's what you want the quarterback to do. But um, there's things we can clean up with that, and it's not going to be on anyone's anyone's lap. Um, just things to clean up.